Hello, my friends. Good day to you. Why have I got stuff on my... Hello, hello. Right. We're starting early today, chat. Find camera angle that's not going to fuck my camera too much. There we go. That's a bit better. That's better. Right, chat. I'll have a tweak with the camera at some point. Right. So yes, we're starting early today. Up earlier than expected, and I want to get into some beast land. Um. Do we leave off? Also, I might have loaded the wrong save. Again. In fact, I'm fairly certain I have. I don't recognize this load screen. Feel fuck. The plan for today, champ, is we're probably gonna we're gonna do some solo for a bit, and then I believe Smash wanted to play some more co-op, so I think we're gonna do some of that on stream. If not, we'll just carry on with the solo. Don't matter to me. But, uh, yeah, this is the wrong playthrough. I need the one labeled stream because I forgot that, or I found out yesterday that you can actually name the saves. I'm just very dumb. Okay, yeah, this is better. So we left off in the Sans Lux apartment. At least I think that's what they're called. Um, and just murdered the clone dudes. I'm now going to quickly investigate the area a bit more and see if we can find some more stuff. We also have to go through the other rooms and find out what's going on. Or find out if there's any good shit. Don't you be my neighbor. Because you want the Sun's Lux apartments in downtown Colorado Springs, the Irv's apartment, and find out what he's doing. Uh, okay. Right. What's going on in here? Safe, which we're not strong enough to pick lock. Readouts of graphics of Flatline now that the clones are dead. Given specialized knowledge and the right resources, it might be possible to make more. Um, okay. On the desk, you find a chaotic mess of ancient dot matrix printouts, scientific journals, and dog-eared books. Notes are scrawled upon them in a wild, childish hand. A computer awaits a button press. In the experiment. Due to it instantly returns with cold, bold blinking text, no subject found on primary or secondary sensors. Oh, these. Uh, okay, so if I put Hawk on Yar, Lucia on Yar, yeah, oh, look at that. On the desk, you find, okay, begin the experiment. Computer analyzes both sensors, large volumes of data fill the screen. A small thermal printer begins to spew out reams of information laid in paper. Text is thick with mind-numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, cryptic electrical and anatomical diagrams, and some printouts, reference books, and notes on the table. Files of the textbook stand out. Cloning in our time, dream or reality, robotics, cybernetics, and cloning, the future is now. Cloning theory and practice, life everlasting TM, business prospectors, and new you. The list continues, but one component remains the same. The name on every title page. Professor Erwin John Finster, E.A.D. Every ranger knows the name of Erwin John Finster, the director of the infamous Project Darwin, and an old enemy of the Desert Rangers. Rosie's tenant, Irv, has some explaining to do. Find and confront Irv. Something, something, something. Why are you all gassy now? Stink. Ain't nothing covering you up. Only be removed by antidote or doctor NPC. Evasion, evasion minus 5%. Okay, well, 
big oofs. Um, search the other rooms, see what we find. Broken toaster. Can't do anything about. Um, can I interact with these? I like. Why can't I? Oops. This door. A booze box. Doors light. You won't get drunk, but you won't get fat either. Level four. Do we not have pickpock level four? Oh, skill points. We do have lockpick level four. So why is that being weird? Um, I kind of wish I could, um, wish I could, um, respec. Don't have a perk point. Anybody else got level ups? No. All right. What do you mean, out of range? Pick the damn door. Rainbow tables used to break encryption. All of these computers appear to be networked together. They are running completely unrecognizable streams of code. Toshi. Space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. Hooded figure appears at you, unblinking, and proffers a simple metal case. He seems to want you to take it. What are you offering us? Redundant variable detection grid populated by live stream data. But uh, thanks. Alert. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. Appears telling you to open to not o telling you not to open or discard the case or you'll face some kind of consequence. Turns back to his terminals and seems to forget you're in the room. Ensure transactions in mempool always have unique keys. An unadorned metal case given to you by Satoshi. He asks you to hold on to it and never open it. Hold on to it for now. Doesn't end up doing something, I'm going to open it. In here. Fuck off. Oh, this guy. Hi, bud. Huh? Get the fuck out of my apartment. Okay. Apartment one. Oh, hi, chicken. While sickly and starved looking, the chicken is also unexpectedly spry. For some reason, half of its head is shelled in metal and cybernetic parts are implanted in its body. Fuck. So eyeballed with considerable distrust, it then pecks at the ground near your feet, clucking and wheezing to itself. Okay, sorry, chicken. Waste rifle, 1315 wasteland mercs to combine elements for two pre war rifles in one sturdy package. Risky shot, go for broke, an unreliable attack that has plus 70% crit chance but minus 40% hit chance. Dick. <coughs> Yo, what up, Smash? Morning, dude. Uh, critical armor. Onto that for now. 
Hmm. How you doing, Smash? Have I been in here? Oh, you're one of these crazy cat lady types, okay. Cathman do, cat. Good, your lazy arse just woke up. Nice. Yeah, I was just gonna try and uh, get some of the solo playthrough done and then we can do some co-op if you want. Uh, evidence. This cassette has multiple courier labels on it as if sent back and forth numerous times. Bunch of cigarettes. Alright, All right, sounds good. Marshal, so listen up. If you won't take my noise complaint seriously and do your damn job, then I guess I'll just have to do it for you. There's oh, yeah. some strange noises coming out of apartment three all week. People yelling and stomping around at all hours and strange mechanical sounds. They could be making bombs for all I know. You say you need evidence? Well, Irv just left, so I'm going inside and documenting everything I find. Uh, who's there? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's Rosie Bong, the landlady. I was just checking to make sure you were okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? Oh, well, you know, the noise. So, now where we went wrong. What'd you find in apartment three? Was he making bombs like I said? They wait until we find him. Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Let me know what happens. To bribe some lady. <laughs> Fair enough. Are we still able to do that, or have we kind of bugged something? We can. Alright, sick. When we play them. Does that mean we don't have to spend out a load of rockets to open the door? It does. Come in Team November, Ranger Damn. HQ here. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger HQ, rough mercenary types. Their leader goes by Gary Wolf, claims to be an ex-Ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat take no prisoner type. Over. Uh, are they causing any problems, old enemy? Are they causing any problems? That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. Old enemy? No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. I mean, I know what BAMP stands for, but... Bad-ass motherfuckers. We'll be here, over and out. Alright, well I'm busy, so wait. Uh, Maybe I'll join the marshals. Oh, he, I do like the he, he, he. Uh, hi. Well, lanky man is looking over the books on the merchant stand, muttering nervously to himself. Go back and pick up another character and I run. Is it Quan by any chance, the guy from HQ? Um, mind if we ask you some questions? Don't move, keep your hands where we can see him. What? Whoa, who are you? What do you want? Uh, we're the Desert Rangers. We've been helping out around Colorado Springs. Is your name Irv? I... I... I'm Irv. What He's do you want? Here. Is he the guy with the assault rifle? If so, then it's Quan. He's, yeah, I've got him on this run. Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, we were attacked your apartment by a few guys who look just like you. Any explanation for that? Oh no! Did you kill them? Yep. Oh, oh poor clones. They... They never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. 
Tell us more about the clones. Well, well, I, I guess I'm kind of afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. The, when they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. If, if I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. And some papers in your apartment written by Erwin John Finstead. Is that your real name? I... Uh... Looks around nervously. Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. Do you know about Fin... Uh, actually, is Finster still alive? The original? No. N not anymore, but... I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? I all suddenly and swallows. Or, uh, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting... No. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and, 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 uh, and neither am I. I swear. We're going genocide route in your run and made my characters the horseman of the apocalypse, and it's been super fun so far. Fair enough, sounds good. Yeah, in my playthrough, uh, I think I've, so far. Oh, the, the kids that helped the... Uh, Dorsey's get into the town. I allowed the, the young girl with the pistol to kill him. And then let him bleed out. Um, I helped the club owner. Uh, I, think I, did I, I think I arrested the mechanic dude. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm kind of just like you toying me, with options. Don't you? Very kind of middle ground-ish. Uh, and, uh, we don't believe you. Clones can't be trusted. No, no, I promise I'm a good person. Please don't The same you let a devil tap him. Please. Nice. Put the boss, that's going to be fun. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're not, in fact, if you bring a clone machine, you, uh, no. Uh. I'm going to arrest him. Are you too dangerous to be walking around free? You're under arrest. But I haven't hurt anyone or, or stolen anything. You're not going to turn me over to the marshals, are you? They'll kill me. Uh, this is so unfair. Radio Ranger HQ. Solid, Team November. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. And a clone of Owen Finster, an old enemy of the Arizona Rangers. Send a team to pick him up immediately until she... Uh, yeah, this one. Wow. An actual clone, huh? <laughs> no shit. Ever a boring day in the life of a ranger. A team is en route, rangers. Over and out. Oh, he vanished. Alright. Done that. Um, what am I doing on medical supplies? Team. Some more injury kits, though. Up to this lady. Welcome back, children. Had another rough night? Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. A fair chunk of gold. Or dollars. These seem like they're going to be quite useful. A two. Alright. Um... What can I do now?
Santa Rosie Wong in downtown Colorado Springs. Okay. Let's do that real quick. I think the lady smells new run as well. Yeah, she um and I worked out what it is. On in the clone lab, when you stand on the two pressure plates and activate the computer, uh, depending on which one you stand on, somebody gets that effect. Like minus five percent evasion. Big deal. Plus it's only her, so could be worse. <coughs> Window open? Really loud traffic out today. Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? Add her into a second sniper and she's surprisingly good now. I think she's just using shotguns in mind. Shotguns and pistols. Uh, we found Irv and he won't be coming back. You can clear out his room now. About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal anyway? Hmm. Don't need to know, it's all taken care of. Ah, uh, serves me right for asking, I guess. Well, thanks anyway. Here's a little something for getting him out. Ah, oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie. Review point remaining. Um. Oh, more awareness on you, I guess. Oh, skill points! Go be a kiss ass. Uh... I wonder if there's a storyline or a quest line to do with Frank. Do that. What we gotta do now? We go back to Ranger HQ, or we have another side quest off in that new area. I suppose I'll go do. This way. Oh, Tension between rangers and marshals. Will there be blood? By order of the Patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas. Okay, well that wasn't hard. No one's allowed in there. In there. Which word didn't you understand? Please, step away. We'll come back and kill you all. Hi, hey, Baron. How you doing? Twelve refugees into Colorado Springs is putting a severe strain on resources and creating tensions with the hundred families. Hundred families being the high and mighties, I suppose. <clears throat> Doing good, just cold. Get a blanket, snuggle up. Must admit, it was a bit cold here, or out, or colder yesterday and today. I wouldn't say it's cold still, but it's colder. 
Right, broad more heights. What is this shit all? Welcome to the right side of the tracks. Broadmoor resident. Why is everybody in weird that. green suits? people mercenaries yes Bloody. I wish they'd get a younger you just want eye candy guilty what what did I miss this do Is that wait? Western servitor bot. Who the fuck is this? He's a Western, right? I'd know this drone anywhere. It was my father's favorite. Must have been damaged when the Dorseys raided our house. The blanket with a hoodie on. Nice. The drone is clearly malfunctioning, vibrating against the cobblestones as its speakers emit a faint, continuous squeal. You're not supposed to touch that. It belonged to the Wessons. I've got orders to keep everyone away. With the range, but your orders don't apply to us. Uh, why can't we take a closer look? Ongoing investigation or, or something. How should I know? Now, please step back. Very good at your job. Uh, Lucia, you're a Western. Doesn't that make the drone your property? That's right. I recognize that drone. It ran little errands for my father and alphabetized his books. Are you bought? Uh, are you going to stop Miss Weston from accessing her property? No, I, I mean, no, ma'am. Please don't mind me. Go ahead and do whatever you need to do. As far as you can tell, the drone is stuck in some sort of loop. Its chassis is banged up, so the damage may have led to an internal fault. The robot's operating season crashed. It might initiate a reboot sequence. It might be possible to rewire the servitor bot without shutting it off. That would allow you to force the system restart, in theory. Uh, let's hotwire the drone. You smell burning plastic after a moment, some internal fans kicking, and the scent fades. Hey, look at him go! Get a king. Get hidden treasure. I'm all over that. Come on. So they killed the Wessons, the Shules, the Jacksons, Sophia Gutierrez too, and the kids. My family the the will be avenged. Death. It was either lying or incompetent. Yeah. Which so is many robots everywhere. People have been asking the same thing. I am very well with the private property. Please do not touch. Okay, camera, I guess I'm going over here. Oh, the blank is a city. Stop doing that. EMP grenade. Good for battling artificial life forms and pranking folks with artificial organs. Row to inflict shock on anyone in the affected area, dealing minus 10% con damage and minus 2 AP for one turn. Robots also have a 50% chance to become glitched, causing them to attack allies for three turns. Uh, we've also got the waste rifle, which we've already picked up one of these. Titanium crest. One armor, plus 6% crit resistance. Nice. Speaking of which, you're an AR boy. Uh, what have you got? The battle rifle. So 11, 11 to 14. Oh. Yeah, so this is better in like every way. You can have this as well, just for a different damage variation. There, I guess. 
Wait, is the robot still here? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Alright, we're back. I want to go back to the town hall thing. I also want to know what that thing powered up. Miriam Knox, who are you? Middle-aged woman murmurs quietly to herself, her hands clasped in prayer. When she notices you standing nearby, she looks up and you see tears streaming down her cheeks. Oh, thank God! You're the Westerners, aren't you? The Rangers? Maybe. Uh, that's us. Need our help? My husband, my hearty, was an Aspen when Vic Buchanan raided the town. Vic took him hostage, but there's been no word for weeks. I know it's frightful, wicked to hope for the safety of one soul over many, but I beg you, find him, save him if you can. No need to beg, Mrs. Knox. We have business of our own with Vic Buchanan. If your husband's alive, we'll find him. Yeah, from across the room. The older woman flinches, raises her head again, and risks a smile. I didn't see you there, Lucia. You're a good girl. Always have been. I'm dreadful sorry for your loss. She nods at the words, but quickly looks away. We have money, Rangers. Even though we don't live fancy like some families do, if you bring my hearty home safe, we'll donate all we can to your cause. You got a deal. Uh. And Mrs. Knox, uh, can you describe your husband for us? He's a little on the portly side, always well dressed, but he likes playing cowboy out on the ranch. Kindest man in the hundred families. That's why I married him. One of the hundred families? Yes, but we're homebodies, and neither of us is very political. We own bison ranches out east. Supply Colorado Springs with half its meat. Found this old journal in our headquarters. It mentions the Knox family. Any interest in it? Let me see who... Allie Blue? Aunt Dally? My goodness, of course! I'd love to read this! Blue is my maiden name. Back in the old days, the Blues and the Knoxes hated each other. Old Aunt Ellie almost shot me when I told her I was gonna marry Hardy. Always wanted to know what things were like when she was young. Oh, thank you, Rangers. Let me give you something for this. Thanks. Bunch of money, individually, for some reason. We'll do what we can, Mrs. Knox. I know you will. Thank you, Rangers. Reached the final deluge. There's Gideon. Speak to you first, you're weird. Let us may the deluge Oops. spare you, my child. This is a place of respite. Alright, screw you too. Man looks like he might have been drawn by a mathematician. Precision, cut luxury, and manicured good luck. Ah, you're the Rangers, yes? I'm most pleased to see you. I'm Gideon Reyes. Uncle Gideon, you heard about my family? I did, Sobrina. And I'm so sorry. Brina, what? You know you always have a place in my house for as long as you need. I know. And I am grateful. But I have a place with these rangers now. We mean to see justice done for my family. Is that so, rangers? Apparently. Uh... That's right, your niece is, deputized, is a deputized ranger now. She was always an impressive girl. My sister would be proud of her. Now, I expect you're here about my call. There is a situation in Colorado Springs that requires a delicate touch. But first, you need to know the truth about this city. It's all? Colorado Springs isn't as prosperous as it pretends. 
we can barely feed our existing population. And now, smugglers are bringing refugees into the city every day. If we had enough food to support them, we would welcome them. But we don't. I've asked the Patriarch to chase off these smugglers, but he says the crisis with the Dorseys and his children have left the marshals spread too thin. It seems he'd rather just have Sheriff Daisy keep putting refugees in the pillories, rather than stopping the tide at its source. It's infuriating. And that is why I've called you. Where are they coming from? The plains, mostly. After the Patriarch defeated the Eastern gangs, people started settling out there, thinking it was safe. Now the gangs have returned, and all the homesteaders are fleeing back to Colorado Springs. Uh... Patriarch hey, doesn't care about these smugglers, we'd be doing this on our own time. Will you pay? Oh, of course. And not just in money. Mechanics? I do a lot of Monocle. business with the local Arapaho garage, and I can get them to provide you with mechanics to service your vehicle. They always have the best, and I'll pay for everything. Good man. Look into it. Thank you. I'm told the smugglers are operating out of the bazaar, a trader's market east of Colorado Springs. When you find them, well, do what you can. Convince them to take the refugees elsewhere. Convince them to stop entirely. Arrest them. I just want this problem to go away. Thank you for agreeing to help. You are doing Colorado Springs a great service. Goodbye and good luck. Nice. What is this? I want it. Gospel of Nicholas, an excerpt from the script for the Holy Deluge. So did their holy prophet Nicholas commemorate and consecrate the rem remembrance of the final deluge by leading the congregation in their ceremonial de denial of old world consumer goods. Has not the final blah, 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 blah. can read. Has not the final deluge, that great rain of cleansing fire, given our children a new beginning by washing away all the false trapping of the old world? He asked his flock. Yes, they answered as a single choir. Holding aloft those relics they had, that had become the false idols of so many coffee pots and compact discs and gossip magazines. Nicholas cast them, one by one, into the cleansing fire of a microwave, which was called upon to replace the traditional ceremonial flames. The loyal supplicants of the final deluge exulted as they denied the obsolete artifacts that had so deeply contributed to the ruination of humankind before their prophets set each one ablaze. And then did Nicholas conclude the ceremony by promising the inevitable cleansing of the microwave as well, for it was a chief perpetrator of, compl of complacence and false idolatry or the gift of all-consuming holy fire. And the followers of the final deluge did rejoice. They microwaved a bunch of shit. Holy symbol. Guaranteed 100% waterproof and bloodstain resistant. Colorado Springs weatherproofing co. Nice. Anything else in here? Oh. This looks like something I should be able to loot. Why can't I have it? Speaking of loot. Ding dong, let me in. Oh, oh the chickens are here again. Sleekly muscular, more raptor than foul, the cybernetically enhanced chicken cuts an unusually menacing figure. It paces and prowls, clearly displeased at your presence. Old glare. Uh. It does not fluff, it does not posture, instead, it glares warning incarnated into feathers. You don't scare us. Sound resonates deep in the cavity of its chest, and noise better suited for a cat or a small feathered jaguar. Okay, bye. Um, the wall. Steal your container, though. It increases kiss ass by one. Getting that. Poach guns, crap. Pocket okay, dock. Wait, what? All oh, the healing bonus. Points. Dick. Um, alright, let's use that book on this boy. Sneaky shit. Do I have anyone with sneaky shit? Uh... Oh, no, I should probably put it on you, though. I 
Thanks by one. Something else for you. Dick. Okay. Um. Well, the crime around here happens indoors. Eh. I am here to serve, but not to serve you. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. And your approach over the twitches and heaves rising to its full height. Hello, hello and welcome to the wonders, fabulous, most fabulous home of the one more family. Finishes with a burst of static and sparks. What is your business at the world estate? Uh... I'll take a look around, we have information, information about Bellamy Ward. Processing. Insufficient credential for entry. Please enter the elevator gate. Entry parameters may change in the future. Back to this. Ladies and gentlemen. Box burst back from the servitor's head. It appears to be looking past you in an imagined crowd. Nail go on. Hello, you don't look fishy at all. What's going on here? Oh, look, what could you possibly want? Oh, uh, we're just talking, strangers. N no need to get any closer. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, we're just talking, strangers. N no need to get any closer. Elite trooper. Elite guard. Marshal truck. I am very valuable private property. Please do not touch. Diligent. Oh, look who it is. It's Diligent Joe. All right, we'll come back to you in a minute. Guards, looks like. with this beastly weather, I guess. All right. Go priority one. Move. Someday I'm going to live like this. Someday. Uh, what is this? Memorial Park. Okay. Did you hear what happened in Aspen? All those people taken hostage? That, it's I found really Vic who has them. They're all as good as dead. Don't say yeah, that Miriam it. Knox. Her husband was there. Ancient love letter, my dearest. I've left a puzzle for you as a test of our bond. This is the first of three special locations within this park. Today is Sunday. I'm counting the days until we are together again. In the park. Robots and rangers for real. You descend the narrow stairs and find the door to the bunker. Slightly ajar. I, I listen at the door. Make a, a perception roll. It's awful dark out here. Maybe we should go inside. This was your idea. He said it would be cool to play a game in the park. I got a 15! Do I hear anything? You hear a faint scraping sound inside. Uh, like the sound of a skeletal foot dragging across stone. It's coming closer. Uh, did you hear that? It's just the wind. Ah! A pale dog! There's a pale dog watching us! What? Where? I don't see- It's coming after us! Run! LB. How can I talk to this tree? Back on this tree says, planted on the day of the Patriarch's birth, Tuesday, April 18th, 2028. Maybe one of the three locations mentioned in the ancient love letter. Examining the tree carefully, you find a box that someone concealed in the trunk. The wood has grown around it, but a tiny keyhole is visible through a crack in the wood. You unlock it. Oh, fuck. Alright, uh. The key or more lock picking? Yeah, I can interact with the bench. 
description on the bench reads, For Camilla, the cleverest girl I met on a Monday. Noting the reference to a day of the week, like in the ancient love letter, you search the area. Again, wedged underneath the bench, you find a small, ornate key. It looks like it's been here for a long time. Okay. Now we open the box. And it's a bomb, and I'm dead. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You use the key you found under the bench. The box is bigger than it looks. You pull out a tightly rolled bearskin. Unrolling it, you discover what appears to be an ancient and undelivered marriage proposal, along with quite a lot of money. 200. I reckon it's a good thing this proposal was never delivered. Ah, young love. Glad I grew out of it. Okay. Interesting. I interact with this again. Okay. Uh I want of note. Boarded up doorway. Behind the wooden boards, the door is splintered and broken through cracks in the wood. You can see a ransacked interior. Yep. The door is done tore through here and gutted the house. Until the Castillo. Hey, boss. So repaired. I don't know who he's talking to, but okay. The leaders of the hundred families look on. Saya Buchanan passes the flag of the United States of America to his son, the future patriarch of Colorado, Saul Buchanan. Buchanan calling upon him to protect and glorify it to the end of his days. Well, shit. Well. Poster and it's rock. Patriarch bust. That should have been weathered by time and the elements, but you can still see the resemblance. Nice, nice. Hidden item, what is that? Dog. Hello, dog. Uh, random crap. Nice. Actually, uh, what's my... Armor and weapon modding on this guy. I... And strip stuff now. If I go to weapons. Field strip. Yes. Crap. Field strip. Crap. Field strip. Red dot scope. Sick. Field strip the coach gun. This thing. Marksman rifle. I think we've got a better one. Crap. Uh, yeah, we'll flip that. Flamin Army flamethrower, 1826. That. That. Get rid of the knee capper, I suppose. Get rid of the ice axe for. Oh. I'll just crap. What does scrap do? Do we know? Well, John, could think there's anything valuable about this? Maybe we can sell it at some point. Um, pretty good on armor. Light speed, quick start, armor. What's the armor on this? Plus two. Better than Merc leggings, I guess. Merc armor. Two. Marish. 
Why does some of it glow? Uh, I don't know. Oh, actually, I think the, um... I think the stuff that glows is, like, um... Special stuff you can find, and you... If I start a new playthrough, I think I automatically start with this stuff. I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's what it does. Um, I will check the tutorials in a minute, see if it tells me. Um, good on ammo. Random diff. Um... Keep going for now. How are you, Marish? Hope you're having a good Sunday. Why does it look like there should be a secret door here? Alright, this is the Western house, right? Yeah. Let's we'll go rummage around in here first. It feels so empty now. Even when Pa and Ma were traveling, they. They were here. Their spirits filled the place. Now, they do not. Oh shit. Um, alright. Mm. Uh. Well, it's probably... Archived? Uh Um All right Enemy armor entirely, you for the four of them over there, and you fire cold and explosive damage. Enemies are often weak to some elemental damage types and resistant to others. Um. Modding your gear. Well, I uh, okay, yeah, I don't know what the yellow outline means. Damn, Dorsey's weren't content to rip everything up. They had to toss the furniture around, too. Couldn't even leave my memories of this place alone. Uh... Anything happened here? My house was the first place the Dorsey's went. Probably walked right in through the front door, stole my parents and little brother away, and then took out their anger on the house. It'd be on the rubble. Dark, but you can make out smashed scraps of wood and splintered doors. It doesn't look like the attack has left much of anything behind. No point looking back there. It's smashed up even worse, and the Dorseys took everything worth stealing. I mean, there's a safe over there. Can't get in it yet. That's a lot of furniture, but most of it is now blocking this hallway. Mama used to love sitting in here. She'd be ashamed at the mess it's in now. Of course. Money in a book. Eleven, some nine mil. Is that not a trap right there? There's a tripwire. Wow. 
Daddy really didn't want any Dorsey's to muck around with his cooking supplies. Gas mine, EMP mine, gas mine. Oh god, no. I'll do that. Why is there fucking explosives in everything? I regret it. Tastes as good as it smells. Useful. Didn't quite hear, thankfully. Guess I'll go and play with the box anyway. Oh, wait, 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 can I? What are you doing? Uh, can I? Saved it, right? In a walk. Ammo and money. Okay. Uh, I'll do the booze box, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Uh. I suppose I can bash this down, can I? Don't be him. No. Oh. Like this. Can I bash this down? No. Uh, I want to open the safe. On lock picking. Uh, types of values. Another vehicle. Oh. Uh, achy, breaky shoulders. Diligent Joe. Yes. Oh, <laughs> hello. Uh, you must be the Rangers. I'm Diligent Joe, uh, the Patriarch's personal secretary. I make sure uh, only people who have official business with him get past his door. <laughs> you, uh, due to the importance of your mission, have Mr. Buchanan's leave to enter as necessary. Of course, uh, that privilege could be revoked at any time, but for now, uh, please go on in. Hello, Joe. Ah, Miss Wesson. You, you have my deepest sympathies on the deaths of your, your family. Thank you, Joe. More folks can't see the Patriarch? Uh, it used to be that we held town hall meetings where citizens could bring their grievances before him, but uh, that practice has changed in the last year or so uh, due to uh, security concerns. Good day. Going on in here. Oh. Why not? Matrix Palace was formerly a luxury hotel in the historic old Broadmoor section of Colorado Springs. That is about as America as it gets. Throne of explosives and patriotism. You turret mounts. Do you? Oh.
Actually looks like a much younger version of the Patriarch. The guards who get posted here are so full of themselves. Of course they are, they're all in running fucking power armor basically. You're cleared nice for public areas only. And I open these. Stop! Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Smaller version of the giant patriarch statue in the market square. Maybe this was with the prototype. The patriarch likes it quiet in here. So do we. Beloved Lara. First two wives. They were dead before I was born. Beloved Lara, the 27. Old man sure knew how to pick them, not so much how to keep them. Livia, 2059. Leo, 2072. Yeah, I don't know, Solve Vic Victory, Liberty, Valor, 2105. Welcome. How are you settling in? Uh, I don't know. Your dude's pointing a gun at me. I'm there. Um, everything's going great. Thanks again for all your help. Things are a little chaotic around here, huh? Uh, sure. Thanks for the help. Not at all. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, we have some questions. Ask them. Uh... You thought about what will happen to you after Colorado to Colorado after you're gone. Why? Are you getting ideas? Yes. Seems as you're not planning to pass the job to your children, it might be time to consider another successor. Uh, have you considered establishing elections? Of course, and I will, when the time is right. What happened between you and the Dorseys? Used to be my strongest supporters. Until we had an argument about how quickly democracy should be instituted in Colorado. When they lost that argument, they tried to usurp me. And, well. So, uh, okay, so from, from my initial impressions, at least for the time being, there's definitely something not right about this guy, or at least that's the, the wave I'm getting. Um, and especially from that particular statement, it seems like the Dorseys, who have been coined as these big bad nutcases, trying to overthrow everything. Um, sounds like maybe they were the ones looking for democracy, and he said no because he was in charge and was like, "Nope, now I'm hungry." So maybe he's a dictator Until pretending to be friendly. The city, I thought I'd wiped out the whole family. Apparently, Neleus led some of them into the wilderness. I should have been more thorough. I assume it was Liberty who put them up to the raid. They were never this clever before. Uh, I'm noting that you seem to favor your daughter over your sons. <laughs> Can you blame me? If she wasn't as bloody handed as she is brave, I'd have already passed the throne to her. Oh, Churchill, democracy is the worst form of government. Unfortunately, she has no interest in governing, only ruling. Maybe I'm reading this the wrong way around, I don't know. Uh, have you ever considered expanding beyond the borders of Colorado? The nation as you see it is my life's work. Only fools expand beyond their ability to govern. Fine. That's it, I guess. Going, Rangers. You have work to do. Not wrong. My lad up here, you're gonna shout at me. Huh? Have it. No sudden yeah, Okay. Fine. Empty bed right there, why don't you lie on that? I was asleep. Unk. 
Buster. Auto shotgun. Compact needs to conceal design will help you get the drop on any punk you need to bust. Point blank. Turn him into a blood sausage. Hits a single target at point blank range but deals 100% damage. Oh, so just doubles damage up. Uh, there's a note pinned here. Hey, Charlie, we all know afternoon turret duty bites, but clean up your mess. Thanks. Access restricted. View current duty roster. East wing on duty. Dining room unassigned. Turret maintenance on duty. Lobby front desk reception duty unassigned. Shift change request. Uh, Automated duty roster change. New assignments are as follows Guard 08 to Station H. That is all. But I did. <laughs> Moved somebody. Fusion turret. Machines look like they haven't worked in years. Hey, Any machine though. You hear about Rosalind's ex? Uh, the love puzzle guy? Oh, it's about to get chunky. He's been trying to get rotated into her unit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta make this happen. Careful, or someone will think you got the hots for Rosalind. <laughs> no way. I just appreciate a nice evisceration when I see one. Jacob, you lost the bet. So you make the coffee. Make the coffee. Get Jacob. Who did I move from where? And am I allowed, allowed in here? Yes, so. Fur cover jacket. The oldest monster army masher jacket. Legend says it belonged to an adolescent werewolf who worked, who wreaked terror from a small town. A young soul kind of slew the last wearer and took the jacket as a trophy. There's like a museum of all of his feats. Free the tank. Claim from the body of a breather. 2106. Saw arm. Dark collector arm from the Battle of Punkin Center. 2097. Looks like the war banner of some forgotten planes gang defeated long ago. Mask of the Cyclops, last warlord of the monster army. Where is that? Adoption records, Melissa Ho. By order of Saul Buchanan, the orphan will be presented as the legitimate heir of Claire Ho. All, mar all marshals present during the Godfisher raid are sworn to secrecy. Saw a Ho person. Papers appear to be adoption records for Melissa Ho. Now? Uh, one section stands out. By order of Saul Buchanan, the orphan will be... Uh, yeah. Recognize the name Ho from Broadmoor Heights. She was one of the people mocking others as they passed. A covered mask. An old rubber monster mask. Is that a dried out head inside? Let me see it. Imagine the jolly times around this table. Patriarch still has chairs around his dining table as if he's waiting for his wayward children to come home. Genuine Payaso footwear spattered with genuine Payaso blood. Light pile of pastimes. Pages upon pages of games playable in less than an hour. The game involving random chance have been crossed out. The front of this vase is complete. It's complete. It's clean and shiny. The back, the back is caked with dust. I can't fucking read. I'm illiterate. Um, right. So. Oh. It's painting. Painting dates from before the apocalypse. It depicts a city with an unpronounceable name in a place called. Yeah. No sudden moves. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
get to move. Uh, your current duty roster. Wings on duty. Dining room unassigned. Current maintenance unassigned. The Jason. Echo Bon Bonro. Dining room. Automated duty roster change. New assignments are as follows. Guard zero four two station C. That is all. I can now unlock it, but there's a lot of people looking at that. I also don't have a high enough skill. What about Roslyn? Where is she? Lynn Bournemouth. Current users reach limit of one reassignment request per day. Backspace key. Body. What? A random name. Done toying with that now. Um, and I'd like to go in here, but get in here. Used to get lots of visitors, not anymore. Back inside. Hmm. What have we got left to do then? Oh, that guy wants us to go off and deal with the smugglers, but... We should probably return back to HQ and get a... catch up on what's going on. But where is this whole person? Ah, there. I suppose they'll let just... I don't believe we were having a conversation. I'd certainly remember that... odor. Yeah, sorry, the lady stepped on a trap. Hold up adoption record. Does this look familiar? How did you get that? I... I see. You have me at a disadvantage. I knew this day might come, but I didn't think it would be at the hand of strangers. Hand over those documents. In return... I'll use my considerable influence to ensure you are well known and fondly thought of among respectable sorts of people. My people. Looks up, we stay quiet about you. Sounds fair. Sorry, we only accept cash. Gonna be the more so good guys on this run because I know on Mine and Smash's co op run, which you'll see in a little while, we're a bit more uh, chaotic. Lucia nods approvingly. What? I. Well, thank you. Once around before gingerly taking the documents and slipping them under her clothes. You really aren't from around here. How refreshing. Thank you, Rangers. Maybe she'll play a part later on. Uh, I want to get in this house. I used to play on these streets. Provide the robot and set yourself as an admin. The guy's dead anyway, so. Never to go silent for a moment before jolting back to attention. The best is expected you. Please enter the rules of order. Thanks, bud. Open the door. Can you open the door? Bollocks. Who will open the door? Fuck. Okay, um... Oops. Uh, travel to the bazaar and confront the human smugglers. Okay. Are you sure 
When's the last time anyone? Too soon to be back. Greenhouse. How do I get to the greenhouse? I got in the greenhouse. I go this way. This is a dead end. We can go in there at some point because I mean, there's stuff in there. Hmm. Colorado Springs usually gets oil from the Gippers, the cult that controls most of the state's fuel production. Unfortunately, because of recent hostilities, the Gippers stopped oil deliveries to the city. Well, aren't they a bunch of bastards? Markers down. Did Ranger seal a deal with the famous mob? Drago says no comment. Would you rather freeze to death or burn? Hey, mates, can you come here? Weird how that when you go to interact with something, if you click on whatever it is you're trying to interact with, the party will stop at a certain distance. I don't know if that's intended or not, but it's weird. Go check out our new assistants. Should have a doctor here now because I need to doctor to get rid of that stench. Get rid of the stench. Mercenaries, right? Got a proposition. You're the CO around here? Huh. Okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Uh, who are you? Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. Into Ranger Citadel? I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. What do you want? After the Rangers nuked Cochise, and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ, then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again, so we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Seems reasonable. Uh, tell us about Kochis. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the Ranger's greatest enemy, a supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice. 
and which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? Rude. Uh... Not so bad about synths. Jesus. I mean, You're not one of those, are I know you? why, but... Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top-grade robots. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. In all fairness, it has happened twice. Not on my I'm watch. I'm inclined to agree with him. We cap him as soon as we see him. Don't give him a chance to talk. Might give him a chance to talk, but... Uh, why did Daisy ban you from hunting in Colorado Springs? We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly. But there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Shot up the street. Wounded some civs. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. Hey now. That's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Oh. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. Uh, the synth is called October 11. Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caged some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. Uh, how will killing this October 11 help us find the others? All synths got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. I said synth too much. I guess. Uh, sure, we'll add it to the list. <laughs> add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Ah, right, shut up, Baldy. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease. Uh. Welcome aboard. Where are you from? Oh. Was that guy? Yeah, me too. We all are here. A visit. He's secretly really sent himself, that's why he's saying it so much. Just you wait. Maybe. He wants to lead them. Hope you catch that victory kid soon. Before he hurts somebody. Hello, Rangers. Uh, um. Permission to speak? Granted. I just wanted to say thank you again for saving my life. If you hadn't talked to Judge Watkins, well, I wouldn't be here. And, and I'm really happy to be here. I guess that's all I wanted to say. Thanks. Oh, and uh, mom thanks you too. Bryant, Private Roberts. Check the war room. Ooh, look at this setup now. Um, Beakers, Davy, Findlay, Copman, Sergey. It's. Get him here. Where is this? Start shooting. Roger my headquarters. These are my men. Oh, look. What are these guys? Colorado robots. Pick that up. Roger Mayu, man of leisure. I, I am also. At that moment, all the lights went out in the garden, and a harsh voice called out. No need for alarm, ladies and gentlemen. We're only here for your valuables. And as we're all wearing infrared glasses, don't try to hide. Before he could finish, there was a smack, like a mallet striking a side of beef, and then. 
the sounds of a terrible scuffle in the dark. The lights return, and even dozen gangsters in red-lensed glasses strewn across the floor. A masked man standing in their middle, fists raised. Roger, look! It's the Peregrine! He... But Roger was nowhere to be seen. Roger's the Peregrine. Uh, right, let me read this book. Apparently I've missed a bunch of these. Encyclopedia Robotica. Welcome to the ninth edition of Encyclopedia Robotica, the definitive repository of knowledge about all Colorado synthetic citizens. This 12-volume series will ex expound upon both the types of robots found throughout the snow expanses and high elevations of the state, as well as their detailed histories. Excuse me. You will discover exciting new facts of which you were never aware. For example, whose idea was it and how drunk were they when they decided to attach a giant saw blade to multi-legged robots and turn them loose on a population made almost entirely of saw, saw able fle or sawable flesh. Rather. Saw dogs, page 152. Also, did you know our spider bots, page 97, were designed to operate on uneven and treacherous terrain and that their inventors only later realized giant robotic spiders looks utterly terrifying to most humans? Yeah. Uh, perhaps you are researching Colorado robots for practical purposes, such as your family's survival. If so, Encyclopedia Robotica is your ultimate guide. Never again lose a loved one to a dreaded Hopper robot, pages 65 to 75. The leaping automaton is designed to carry all manner of explosive nuisances, from gas bombs to small tactical nuclear devices. You will learn how to prevent yourself and others from being electrocuted by shock dogs, page 84. In, avoid the prongs. Conversely, servitor bots can be life-saving medical assist assistance and are often utilized well for that purpose. However, their ability to manipulate tools means you should never give one a loaded machine gun. Uh, all this information and more awaits you as you turn to the next pages of this introductory volume. Enjoy your journey exploring the diverse and only marginally lethal world of Colorado's robots. Dr. Horvan Fitzgerald, PhD. Human doctor of robotics and definitely not a robot himself. Uh, what is this? Gospel of Nicholas, we read that one. Flavors No, I think we read this. Uh, yeah, someone ordering six slaves. Mostly children. Uh, young females, I think they were asking for, specifically. Pound's Guide to Paints, Makeup, and Acid. Did I read this? Chapter 5, Making Clown Paints. So, kids, you have your own clown outfit, your clown horn, and clown nose all. Already, rather. Great, now it's time to make your very own clown makeup. Wow, that's right, you're making your paints yourself, and the next chapter will discuss how you can use them to paint your face. No, do not attempt without supervision of your parents or, or legal guardian. Clowns Inc. cannot be held responsible for any paint-related accidents. There are four basic colours we'll want to make. A brilliant light blue, beautiful indigo, a beautiful crimson allura red, a subtle light green to finish things off. Please refer to the mixes below. Light blue, carbon 3700... Okay, a bunch of stuff. I wonder if that'll ever come in use. Uh, I think that's it. Alright. I'll sacrifice some elbow room to save more people. That's the only sane thing to do. Uh. Okay, so nothing new Any from time. you. What about Sergey? Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Now, what can I help you with? I don't know. These volunteers you mentioned, where are you getting them from? We need to manage your Rangers, if you're going to be our chief of security, we want to know more about you. Where are you getting them from? Well, I've got friends in the marshals, the Patriarch's Palace Guard, and some local militias. They've always got more folks wanting to sign up than they have positions for. So I asked my pals to send over everybody on their waiting lists. Now, some of these folks may be uh, less than top grade for sure, but most will be solid recruits, ready and willing to learn. You'll have to pick and choose. Wouldn't be our chief of security. We want to know more about you. Happy to tell you what you need to know. What's your story? Well, came here with my folks when I was a kid and was a young man when Saul was trying to unite the families and make Colorado a state. I got behind him right away. He had leader written all over him, even back then. I've served at his side ever since, fighting against the monster army consolidating power here in town, helping him expand our borders. What Mr. Gradsky means is that he played a key role in many of the Patriarch's greatest victories, and he had no small part in making Colorado what it is today. You're too kind, Darius. 
Well, the fighting's never really ended. Trying to hold it all together is a constant struggle. This business with his children is just the latest in a long line of troubles. Uh, there with the patriarch for so long, you must like him. <laughs> I do indeed. Some folks can't get past his brusque ways, but that's just the impatience of a man who knows what's right, dealing with fools who don't. He cares too deeply about the well-being of the people of Colorado to let political courtesy slow him down. Of course, you'll hear a lot of folk condemning him for hurting this group or that group with his decisions. But the way I see it, they should be glad it wasn't them who had to make the choice. Uh, will you tell us some stories about your days fighting beside the Patriarch? Stories? <laughs> yeah, they are stories indeed these days. I've told him so many times, all the truth's been wrung out of him. Now, let's see. Ah, here's one. So, one day we were hunting monster army raiders and came upon a tin-walled shack. The people inside were shooting at us and not answering our calls to parlay. Well, I got sick of that real quick and unslung my rocket launcher. My rocket launcher. But Saul, he holds up a finger, then creeps around behind the compound. Well, pretty soon we hear him smashing through those ten walls with his hammer, and then comes two high-pitched screams. A few moments later, he comes striding out, carrying a child under each arm. They've been shooting at us because they thought we were coming to eat their dying parents. Now... I will never know how Saul knew it was kids in there rather than raiders, but somehow he did. And we brought them and their folks back to the city and helped them out until they got well again. And he's always been like that. An uncanny ability to always do the right thing. Any more stories? Give me a while and I'll see if I can remember any more. In the meantime, I'm sure you I'll be here. Okay. Terminal is displaying information about the base's systems. All seems normal. Okay, fine. Uh, this is my desk. Uh, let's have a wander about and see what we can find, shall we? Spiritberg. Oh, this room's been cleaned up. Ah, it's the doctor. Who the fuck is Amber? Oh, that was the hip. Hey, from Rangers. I'm here at last. Uh, it'll take a while. But I think I'll be able to make an actual surgery out of this place. Just need to call in a few favors for equipment and supplies. If you need treatment now, well, I think I'm ready for that. What do you need? Not to be patched up, please. That's what you pay me for. I'll pay you shit. Have a seat. Uh, how's the patient of yours? Fine. Everything is fine. For now. You have any medical supplies you could sell us? Hmm. I brought a few things over from the garage. Not much yet, but. Oh, so I can buy shit from you. Nice. Talk to Amber. Someone's head is wrapped in bandages. Her breathing is shallow but steady. I steal this stuff. Don't mind me. My fucking shit anyway, so. Gimme, gimme! Go down here now. Lock, failure lock picking impossible. Private part. Why has he turned into fucking. Remember that time on? over at Johnny's place? And when that chick got up and slapped Johnny's face. Man, we just fell about the place. If that chick don't want to know, forget her. Hey! <laughs> I'm Joey Bag of Donuts. And Mr. Brigo sent me down, you know, as thanks for helping him out with his, uh, trouble. Winks. Apparently, I'm supposed to be your new armory guy. That's good. You know, I know my way around this stuff. How'd you get this gig anyway? Well, you know, though he is an honest businessman and an upstanding citizen, 
Mr. Brigo has more than his share of uh, enemies, which means that he needs uh, bodyguards. And those bodyguards need uh, tools, yeah? So he had been doing business with me, a simple freelance gunsmith, but he got tired of waiting for me to finish up work for other clients. So he decided to employ me full time. Find, clean, and service guns for him and only him. Since then, I've been a made man and do whatever Mr. Brigo wants. And right now, he wants me to find, clean, and service guns for you. And only you. Sweet deal, right? True. Can to tell us a little bit more about yourself? Nah, it's my favorite subject. I'm the son of a son of a son of a gunmaker. And I'm proud of carrying on the family trade. Back in Vegas, the Bug of Donuts name has been synonymous with the finest quality gun since before the war. <sighs> Whenever anybody's plucked anybody else in Vegas for the last hundred years, you can bet that a bag of donuts was part of it. And now that Mr. Brigo is in Colorado, I'm hoping to continue that tradition here. Let me go ahead and start. Let me show you. Yeah. Bullets. Armor. Relatively meh weapons. A laser shotgun. Pump shotgun. Motherfucking laser shotgun. What more could you want? That point. Door breakers. Handle is weighted for a little extra knock them on their ass. Back knife. The heavy grip provides excellent leverage, allowing you to open up armor like a can. Also, people's bodies. Also, cans. Weapon mod. Yes. All right, cool. Uh, what's that? Uh, mechanic is. We have mechanics. We have a Duncan. Not proper mechanics yet, but. Stay sharp. This. Oh, equipment. I see. Weapon. Credit turret. Mortar. AI module. Earrings. Good ornament. Disco bot. Oh, disco bot. Oh. Sick. Here. The food you're feeding us is gonna cause a mutiny. I'd hire a cook if I was you. I'd love to if I find one. Uh. Keeping the refugees else? here is just temporary, right? Got ourselves a flag. Ain't have been looted. Yeah. Ballards and everything. Look, let's go. You think that chicken is edible? He picking wires out of my stuff. Over here. Why are you playing with the dogs? What are you doing? That Valor kid doesn't sound much more stable than his brother. You have fun, I guess. I dig this up. Didn't a wide choke. Hog. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, uh let's go in the other side, I suppose. See how things are right up. This. Private Moya. You the one that was settling here? That kid victory sounds like a bad apple. Nope, doesn't sound like you. Long private fish, the refugee. What's going on in here? Oh, this is the museum. What if we had animatronic displays, like in the Patriarch's Museum in downtown? Isn't what? that how you get, um, robots? Robots are autonomous. Animatronics are just machines. I don't know what those Ooh, words mean, but I'd still shoot first and ask questions later. 
okay? Maybe not. Hey, Rangers! Hope you like what I've done with the space! Hard Memorial. The memorial plaque is fixed to the base of the holographic projector. Model of Bellamy Ward's greenhouse spire celebrating the Rangers' routing of Dorsey forces in the Garden of the Gods. What machine has an engraving along its arm? Peek shares ammo with his squad before a battle. Oak steals ammo from his squad before a battle and loots their corpses after. <laughs> Billboard of Peek and Poke, the pre apocalypse preparedness mascots. Robot mascots of pre war PSAs, Peek and Poke were meant to show the right and wrong ways of preparing for the end of the world. Each vignette humorously contrasted Noble Peek's forethought and generosity and Poke's short sightedness and greed. I like Poke. Since the deluge, the billboards have been often modified by survivalists who change the art and the message to suit the times, resulting in a darker humor than the original creators ever intended. Ow. Alright. Yes. So the security thing? Uh. Yes, the same thing. I wonder if you can... Put a different person in this room. Be interesting to find out. Up here, okay. Okay, this is just a regular bunks room, I guess. Hey, can I borrow your mirror again? Sure, whatever you need. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. They'll hack it. We're pitching in where we can. I hope we've been some help at least. Anything you need? Well, fight was so much fun. You spent like an hour and a half in it. Nice. Had more time to explore the base than we have. Can we ask about it? Sure. Uh, did you touch any of the equipment in the war room? Andy may have. He's the only one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of there because I was afraid of... Well, look. Of something like what happened when this whole place got locked down. Uh, anything we can scavenge in the garage? Poked my head in there and saw a giant robot next to a dead body. Hard pass. Yeah, well for now. Careful out there. People Ooh. are people. And sometimes they need help. Uh, That's what the rangers do, right? I think we found your missing help guy, people. Andy. Sorry to say he's dead. <sighs> Andy. Damn it. I was afraid of that. We've been locked up for days, but at least we had our supplies with us. But saved by a lucky crit, the only reason that you lived the run. Nice. How did he... No. I don't want to know. Enough death in this world. Don't need the details to make it even more bitter. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the others. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Yeah, I've unlocked that. Not that you can see it. Right. Cool. Um. Wait. Did that do? Did that cancel that? Oh yeah. That's the fucking jacket. All right. Hang on. <laughs> Let me uh take that back. Well, that's fine for now. What happens if they get more recruits? Don't worry about it. They've taken care of us so far, haven't they? Comes to show. We'll see. Just because it'll bug me if I know it's there. Uh, the prison. Private Huang. Hello, Who's Huang. Stay sharp. Will you talk to me? Sorry, Irv. I. I have my duties to attend. Hey, there, crazy Just boy. So lonely, you know. Yeah, I know. Can't you talk to your neighbors or something? He doesn't have any. They don't like to talk to me. They. They say I ramble. Well, I. I'm sorry, Irv. I'm just sorry. Have hope. Warden salutes you as you approach and gestures to the pristine what brig. Scrubbed up nice, huh? What can I do for you? How are the prisoners? McTavish was pretty surly when he was brought in, but he's mellowed a little since we got to talking. Did he tell you that his injuries came from just a few hours up on the pillories? 
for a relatively minor crime? Violence begets violence begets violence. I'm not saying he's not culpable. All those deaths during the Dorsey raid are his to answer for. But had he been given real justice instead of having his body mangled, maybe those people would be alive today. True. Good luck out there. Talk to him. Above. Hey, if I'm well behaved, will you let me out to use the bathroom? Oh. A rogue synth wandering around downtown is definitely cause for concern. I think we'd all feel safer if it were in a prison cell. Oh, dead. A oh, prison. Irv's no trouble. Just keeps talking to himself. I think he misses his brothers, sons. Whatever they were. Good luck out there. Big luck this, don't mind me. Leopard print handcuffs. These handcuffs covered in hot pink faux fur can only hold someone who is willing. Any tarts. Snack that even the end of the world can kill. Pickles. You can eat them if you can get the jar open. Box me. Don't mind if I do. Gimme, gimme. Uh. What's she now? Two, three, four, five. Tick. Whoops. Excuse me. Uh, uh. Do that. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, we've got a synth to track down then, I guess. So I'm confront the smugglers. All sent find and destroy the synth hiding in downtown Colorado Springs. Get him. He's go get him. You know, chat in about 30 45 minutes, we'll be taking a short break as I will need to go and sort out dinner. I won't be ending, I'll just be AFK for a few minutes and then we'll come back. Unacceptable. Well, I need food, so I don't care. Um, right. Where might this. You know, already. I mean, well, it's uh, 4.45 at the minute, and I'm in the habit of eating about 5.30, so I'll start prepping food in about half an hour. Right, where is little Synth Man? Would you rather freeze to death? Yumi's not in here. Come on, answer the question. Nice all right, to all right. see the city back Burn. to life. Gone faster, and three cremations so your family saves a few bucks on the funeral. Brown and chocolate pudding for me. Uh, okay. Shoot out in Little Vegas! Off duty marshal slain! Oh, Troy. Tench! So, are you gonna give us some boars or what? Boars light. Hey, kids, enjoy. Uh, ew. Light? Guess it's got alcohol, so whatever. Thanks. Oh, yay! Light is my absolute fave. <laughs> Thanks, but, like, leave us Did alone Rangers now, okay? seal a um, deal with the Vegas yeah. mob? A little Rago privacy? No Jeez. Maybe I'll enjoy the marshals. I do like to right. pull up. You get drummed out in a second, you crackpot. I'm sure they could use my help. 
I even got my own blackjack. You ever? Uh, nope. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Always watching when I'm shopping and walking home and snooping. Those eyes keep following. Um, are you okay? Oh, thought it might be over here. Oh, wait. You ask your wife about your uh, concerns about her ability? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on, man. You can't leave me wondering. It was an old security drone. Its timing belt broke, so it uh, vibrates real fast. I. <laughs> wow. The magistrate sentenced me to death for, for being a, an unnatural abomination. Why did you do this to me? Why are you still here? The magistrate sentenced me. Why did you do this to me? I have to go investigate his shit. Go double check his uh in case phone's popping out still. Come on, low times, you can do it. There we go. Do you like my cats? None of them are spayed or neutered. Yeah, I... Nothing else going on in here. Okay, maybe it's a bug that he's popped out again then. Anyway, back to finding this synth. Joys of load screens. I wonder if he's actually outside or whether he's in a building. Wait. That's taking faint modem noises. Maybe in here, isn't it? Yeah. I can open this now. I'm gonna go and talk to each one of these stupid robots. Worm and formaldehyde. A jar of formaldehyde containing a large worm like creature with a clawed tail and gaping mouth. Boldly designed label reads Fate, uh, Fetal Slide Rock Bolter, you decide. Bullets. Greetings, visitors. My name is Junko Murayama, 
and anyway. it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. You're about to embark on a journey through history as we it. share with you the people you got the and OP events that make Colorado Warframe. what it is today. Our new and improved animatronic exhibits uh, will bring history to life uh, as you learn about the rise of the patriarch. The U Yeah, I know. I don't know what. Um, I think I know which Warframe you're on about, but I don't remember how you got it. It was so long ago. Uh, he might be talking about the the other one. Uh, there's like a special. I can't remember the name of them. Which one of you is it? Oh, Umbral, yeah, that one. Then came the gangs of the Eastern Plains, hoping to rob us of a world. Well, the Dorseys thought they had a better idea, believed they could rule by. No, leave them! They don't even have brains! Well, that worked. Why are humans always killing things? Friends, defend yourselves! Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I guess I get to smash you up anyway. I wonder if there's another way you can get them to... Rock. Jesus Christ, so many of them. Many there are, oh my word. You're October 11, aren't you? No? Maybe? I have no idea. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you! A bit close, aren't you? Don't miss. I'll get to any cover either, which is kind of annoying. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, look it down. Shots we got. Decent ones at all. God, don't do that. Fuck. Shoot the fat one. Oh, I can't shoot the fat one again. Fuck. Snap shot. That's it. One less. Damaging the exhibit is directly from. You hate your life, you're playing it again. Don't play it then. I fucking love Warframe. Please. I enjoyed it. Um, there were things about it I didn't like, but it was alright. It, uh, it served its purpose for me when I was looking for something to play. I will say it's probably the closest thing to an MMO that I've enjoyed. Need fucking... I need... Herbert over here, not Herbert, fucking Coyote. Got over 4,000 hours on PlayStation. Damaging the exhibit is 
Yeah, come get me. Waste your AP. This is going to be good. You ready for this chat? So good. So good. Was he on three HP? Please do not shoot the exhibit. Keep coming. Hard derping. Warframe was the first game you found that was truly pay just paid for convenience, not paid to win. I would agree with you there. Most definitely. Don't want to wait an entire day to get your new weapon? Pay for it. Uh. Are you off? Or don't, because you fucking suck. Yeah. Hey Winter, can you play? What do you mean? I mean, this is my solo run. Do you even have the game, Winter? What are you talking about, Warframe? Oh, you missed too. Beating on him. Damaging the exhibit is strictly prohibited. Please do not shoot the exhibits. Excuse me? Why is the combat still going? I was gonna say, what the fuck? Fuck! I'm molly whopped. How far back am I? Got the game. Nice. I don't understand how it can't be played or play a co-op. I haven't programmed it to be. <laughs> That's about it. Plus they do have a six party, uh, six person party system going on. Um, which motherfucker? You've got a hammer. Starting over here boys. Which one was it? I think it's this one. Uh, this animatronic figure is dressed like a marshal. Nothing differentiates it from any of the other figures in the display. And yet your radio is picking up weird noise from this spot. Just the sort of, sort of digital transmissions that should be coming from a synth, according to Gary Wolf. Use your radio to create feedback on synth broadcast frequency, which should stun the synth. If you're just a dummy like all the rest, we're going to shoot you and find out. Alright, synth, the jig's up, come quietly or you're dead. Back the marshal figure. Uh, is your name October 11? It doesn't move or speak. 
Uh, playing down won't work since we're not going away until you you talk. Stop! Let me go! It sounds like a child. That's not right. We can make a move. The marshals outdraws you, and you're looking down the barrel of a gun. Easy now. Don't be hasty. Why don't we talk? Ah, uh, knew it was you. What are you doing here? Gun down, or you're dead. Uh, easy now. Don't be hasty. Why don't we talk? Tourmaline, Tourmaline says we shouldn't talk to humans, but but I don't want to die. What you doing? Let's just take it easy. Can I ask you some questions. I I guess. What do you want to know? That's how you got to Colorado. We fled across the mountains from Arizona. It was just Tourmaline and me, but we picked up signals from from others like us. We thought maybe we'd find a safe place. Tourmaline. My protector. Another synth like me. We got separated and I'm on my own now. We heard you and Tourmaline killed some people, is that true? Tourmaline called it preemptively defending ourselves. All humans want to kill synths, so we've got to kill them first. It's a matter of survival. I don't want to be turned off. You end up in the museum. Some human hunters came for us and we ran. There was a fight and I... I lost Tourmaline. I couldn't go back. They were chasing me. So I hid here. I'll ask you something else. Okay. I want to know more about you. I don't even know much about me. I haven't been alive for long. Why are you called October 11? It's it's the first thing I said. That's what Tourmaline told me. That's his I birthday, woke up basically. And I said it. October 11. I know it's important because it's always in my head, but I can't remember why. Who are you? My name's October 11. I'm from Arizona. At least, that's where we started. Why do you sound like a kid? Tourmaline says I was made to trick humans, but I got put in the wrong body. I should be in a little body. Then no one could guess what I was. I could be safe. Who put you in that body? Another synth, I think. I don't remember. The first thing I remember is waking up with Tourmaline in a house. We were hiding. Tourmaline says we were together for a while before that, but that's as far back as I know. Okay. I'll stay here forever. What do you intend to do now? All I want to do is get out of here and find some place better to hide. Somewhere far away from this city. Will you let me go? You're gonna kill more people. If they find me, I'll have to kill them. If humans know where I am, they'll hunt me down and turn me off. Will you tell us where Tourmaline is? I won't! You'll kill him if I do! Anyway, I'm not really sure where he went. Um... Uh, so I know how this is going to play out when me and Smash do this. <laughs> so, for this one, I'm going to let it go. Just to see if there's more story to it later on. You. you let him go, but that's you. Leave as soon as I find some better clothes. See, normally I wouldn't. Purely because the amount of times that synths and robots have fucked over the Desert Rangers. Normally I would just kill him. Um, but I'm intrigued, but for this story, or for this playthrough, I'm trying to see how certain, you know, I want to see certain decisions and see how they play out and if there's more story to it later on. Um, whereas, I'll be playing the co-op run with Smash in a bit, 
and spoiler alert we tend to kill everything so well kill or arrest so it will probably end up being dead um, but yeah so, now man just hack them all well <laughs> I mean you can tinker with them normally but generally speaking um, at least in the wasteland games the AI has a habit of spreading and taking control of other robots and then causing like a revolution and then starting a war um, Give it so off that the synth escaped. We're garbage. Oops. Uh, camera, please stop doing that. Where's my... I'm gonna get this way. <clears throat> but yeah, so... For different playthroughs, I'm gonna try different outcomes, obviously, otherwise what's the point of the replaying it? Um, but Minor Smashes generally has been a very gun-toting or kind of... Very assertive playthrough, I'll say. Like we're kind of very much in charge. We decide who lives and dies. Um, whereas this one, I'm trying to be a bit more sympathetic to the storyline and try and see how far I can push quest lines and stuff like that, or at least see the different outcomes. Uh, there are rooms in Ranger HQ that no one knows how to enter. I know it's bugging me. I want to get in that room. What if I can just bash the door down? Come on, game, you can do it. There you go. Good job. Good job. Hello, Wolf. Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Uh, now do I lie to him or... Realize his code name, NACL. Um... You let it go. Goddamn simps fell for a bullshit AI sob story. You realize when Cochise wakes up again and wipes out the last of humanity, it'll be your fault, right? Yep. Pack up, squad. Seems like the Colorado Rangers are just as pussy as the ones in AZ. Rude. Race traitors. Don't worry. We're leaving. Good. For you. We gotta live with it. Uh, yes. Um, a race traitor in real life, too. Apparently, so siding with the robots, come back. Um, right, what was I... I was going to level up something. Goons, on that. Uh, in for you. Well, that's retroactive. Retroactive as well. That's worth doing. Um. Arms is also nice. That yeah, seems fine. Alright chat, well I'm gonna take a short break um, so I can go prep some food, get it in the oven, all that stuff. Um, I'll probably be 15-20 minutes maybe. I'll try to be as quick as I can. Um, I'm gonna be obviously BRBing a few times 
um, after that as well, so I can make sure I can get it out of the oven on time and stuff like that. Um, but we're going to call it here for the solo part. But Smash, if you're still in chat and you can hear me, um, do you want to... I mean, obviously, like I said, you've got a few minutes to... Um, around whatever you're doing, but then did you want to jump into... Uh, the co-op one? Um, I'm going to go back to the main menu for now, and I'll be back as soon as I can. BLB chat. 